possible people for us to make a change. It is possible for us to turn our upside down world upright. We took on a detector. The ex-Liberian president was found guilty last year of backing rebels in neighboring Sierra Leone, who were notorious for atrocities during the country's long civil war. He was convicted of 11 crimes, including aiding and abetting murder, rape, and using child soldiers for arming rebels in exchange for diamonds mined by slave laborers. Taylor is the first former head of state to be found guilty by an international war crimes court since the Second World War. Charles Taylor is only the mechanism for what you want. The warlords who gave these boys guns and send them off. They just do anything because they had guns. You go to bed saying, God, please. What do we do? We decided to protest. We wore the white, singing to people we were out for peace. Thousands of women, Muslim and Christian, were coming together, calling for peace. We are tired of war. We are tired running. We are tired begging for bugger weed. We are tired of our children being raped. We can't convey this to the president of Liberia. Thank you. When the winds and the waves were against us, we threatened to strip naked. When the winds and the waves were against us, we barricaded men with guns into a hall and with, uh, without arms, held hands and said, you can't come out. I told them, sit here and loop arms. Then I did my hostage note, so I had it all planned up in my head and sent it into the room and said no one will come outside until they give us the peace that we needed. What we've done here today is to send out a signal to the world that we, the Liberian women in Ghana, at this conference, we are fed up with the war, and we are doing this to tell the world we are tired of fighting the killing of our people. We can do it again if we want to. Three weeks later, we got a peace agreement we haven't gone back to war in 10 years. When the winds and waves were against us, we went to the UN and told them, you are not doing this right. We live here. We know the solution to this problem. When the winds and waves were against us, we went out there and mobilized women and made history by electing Africa's first female president. We all have the power in us to change the tide.